This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. It is important for elderly patients who fracture their hip to avoid prolonged periods of bed rest and reduced mobility. Early mobilization after surgery can help these patients experience fewer complications and reduce their risk of death. Despite the benefits of preserving the patient's mobility, elderly hip fracture patients are often placed on post-surgical weight-bearing restrictions in an effort to avoid fixation failure. A study performed at Munich University Hospital LMU comparatively assessed the impact of post-operative weight-bearing restriction between an elderly group of hip fracture patients and a younger group of patients with ankle fractures. Both groups were instructed to maintain a 20-kilogram weight-bearing restriction on the affected leg. All patients were screened for cognitive deficits and received gait training from a physiotherapist prior to testing. Each participant was required to walk a fixed distance of 40 meters with a force sensor placed inside their shoe. This sensor allowed the researchers to monitor exactly how much load the participants were putting on their affected leg. While more than 75% of the younger group mostly complied with the weight-bearing restriction, none of the patients from the elderly group were able to keep the load on their injured leg below 20 kilograms. In fact, 69% of the latter group put more than double the specified weight load on their injured leg. Elderly hip fracture patients were unable to adhere to post-operative partial weight-bearing restrictions. Considering that weight-bearing restrictions lead to immobility, which triggers complications, an unrestricted allowance of post-operative weight-bearing is recommended for elderly hip fracture patients.